Basically what you find is uh, something we call a knowledge filter. It's not taught, it's not discussed, and people who are educated in, in scientific teachings generally don't even learn about it. At the present time, uh, actually, the modern uh, philosophy of science is being used by persons of demonic mentality to achieve the same basic goal. So, uh, in and of itself, there's no reason that uh, science has to play this particular role. Uh, basically, the word science uh, means knowledge, coming from a Latin root. Uh, you see the same word in nescience. We have this word nescience, which is the opposite of knowledge or ignorance. So, the basic idea of science is to observe nature and see what's happening. Uh, the idea is that if you make correct observations, you'll have correct knowledge of what is going on in nature. And that seems innocuous enough. But uh, science has been taken over as the vehicle for presenting basically the philosophy of atheism. And the idea is to uh, destroy God at the root through philosophy. Of course, nowadays, it's not possible to kill God by throwing a mace. Of course, it never was possible. <laughs> but at least Hiranyaksha thought he had a good chance of, of doing it because Lord Varaha was pretending to be an embodied being who you might be able to kill by throwing a mace. Uh, of course, uh, actually, that wouldn't work because uh, Hiran, your, uh, Lord Varaha was a being of a somewhat different nature than Hiranyaksha was thinking. But, nonetheless, he thought he had a good opportunity of smashing the skull of God with a mace. So, nowadays, the technique is to smash God using philosophy. And to give credence to your philosophy using the findings of science. So, uh, scientists have made certain uh, advances using their particular insights into nature. It's rather interesting that modern science began uh, with a theological concept. The uh, original idea behind modern science is that uh, God is a mathematician. God is supremely rational, and the language of God is geometry. Uh, well, this is perhaps not exactly correct, but at least it is certainly a theistic concept. It assumes that there's a supreme being who thinks and is rational, and in fact who uh, has an interest in mathematics.